Montfail, and J. Money.com. You may never have the opportunity to peel out and smoke the rear tires on a $350,000 Rolls Royce Phantom, but if you ever get the chance, here's how. First, you open the center console. Inside, there are a lot of switches, one of which you can use to turn off the car's electronic traction control. Then you press a round silver button on the steering wheel, the button with the letter L on it. That sets the Phantom's six-speed transmission so that it will start in first gear rather than second. Dot now stomp on it. There it is. The back end drifting to the side, noise, the smell of burning rubber, the whole deal. Okay, that was fun. But it's a bit like belching in a cathedral so you can hear the echo, isn't it? Kind of funny but... Please. The Rolls-Royce Phantom does invite that sort of treatment, though, because it is an icon of tradition, wealth and prestige. And who doesn't want to mock that? That very iconic status creates a marketing opportunity for Rolls-Royce's major competitor, Daimler Chrysler's Maybach. After all, not everyone with a morbidly large bank account wants to rub it in the faces of the plebs. The Maybach offers an understated alternative that lacks the well-known history, but also the baggage, of Rolls-Royce. I recently had the opportunity to travel right into the middle of this polite but nasty little war. I spent several hours driving a top-notch example of each company's product. I took the wheel of a Rolls-Royce.